What is good, YouTube? Man, it's your boy, Paulo Demmer, signing in back with another video. And, of course, I have another unboxing for you. Once again, this is also a reshoot. So bear with me, by the way, as usual. But this is a the Vans NASA. This is the black and white pair. Um, just to give you guys a look at the box. I neglected to do this in my past couple of videos. But, you know, 10 and a half, as always. Regular Vans off the wall box. Nothing is special about that. But it is a NASA and... Uh, Vans collection uh, collaboration whatever I don't I don't really know if it's a collab collaboration because really you know Vans is really just celebrating 60 years of NASA if I'm not mistaken 60 years of space exploration uh, just like the white shoe and this should appear a little better than the last one did but man I actually really like these ones as well I like the white ones a lot better because I'm just not personally a fan of the white bottom with the black top that's just kind of not my style of shoe it's more of somewhat of a designer look whatever something like that uh, it's just not the way I, I like my shoes. I, I like real sneakers and stuff like that. Um, this doesn't really fit that bill for me. Or it doesn't really fit my vibe. You may like it. Um, so be it. Anyway, but just like the Vans, it has uh, embroidered patches. Um, these Some of these patches do come off. Particularly on the other shoe, the patch comes off. Which I'll show, show as well. This patch comes off just the same. You can know, kind of orient it the way you want to. Um, I, I actually did a little more research on this, so you know, of course this is designed for the elements, designed for different elements and stuff like that. It has heat retention. I believe I read it in the other, uh, in the other shoe, but uh, it says on the tag, just like this one, you know, weather resistant exteriors, heat retention layer uh, between outsole and sock liner. It has a warm liner, um, you know, so heat is retained right here. Um, cool moisture escapes out the top you know it's a typical it's a shoe a lot of shoes do this you know this one just tells you what it does that's really what it is right there but um yeah you know when kind of I feel like these kind of things like this nowadays when we see this type of stuff on shoes and um, you know this is a screen print of course but when we see like the lining like the little foam you can see the foam on this one you know little things like that I just feel like those little things are inspired by off-white you know just imagine what shoes will look like right now if Virgil and Blow or Virgil Abloh, you know. Give me a break, I don't really know how to pronounce his name particularly too well, but you know, if Virgil never came out with this, you know what I'm saying? If he never came out with the off-white, you know, what would shoes look like? Once again, the embroidered patch on this one comes off as well. Stick it right back on, you know, bands off the wall. Once again, another embroidered patch. Black laces, they don't come with any other laces. I would actually have liked to see the shoe with white laces. That would have made this shoe look a lot better in my opinion. Uh, it's just not my favorite style of shoe, but I mean, these are going to be very adorable. You want to wear it in the winter, you know, it, it seems like a great shoe for the winter. This is actually like somewhat of a stretchy right there, so this tongue doesn't actually come all the way up. It's got, it's get caught by somewhat, it's not a booty, but somewhat is, you know what I'm saying? But a great shoe, all in all. Um, if you want to see it on foot, I mean, my suggestion is to kind of check out my white Vans on foot video. This you know just imagine this shoe uh that shoe and throw the black on top and you got the on foot you know what i'm saying if you guys really want to on foot i may do it on foot just let me know i just don't feel like doing it on foot right now it's kind of kind of early in the morning for me it's two in the morning but i try to push out content um and i've been meaning to get this out to you guys i just wanted to reshoot it but yeah this is the Vans nasa the black pair um just, just a quick note, uh, just something I noticed, like I'm looking at the glue and stuff like that on this and you know, nothing nothing really stands out, nothing, no flaws or nothing like that. And I just, for a shoe that's $110, like, mind you, like for Jordans and Nike, some of the more expensive Nikes and stuff like that, particularly Jordan, a lot of, you know, uh, typically you can see a lot of flaws in their shoes and stuff like that. You know, $220 shoe, you still see them flaws. $250 shoe, you still see them flaws. And my Justin Timberlake bio pages, there's a lot of flaws in this shoe. I even came, it even came with a stain. And you've seen in my white NASA bands, it had a little stain on the back, but I wasn't too bothered by it because I can just wipe that off. But these, some of these, you know, a lot of times shoes have legitimate, real design flaws in it. These came perfect, essentially perfect. Like I, this little glue coming up, like around the little corner on the edge and stuff like that. But it does not bother me at all because, but you know. For a $110 shoe, I think Vans did really good with this, you know, a lot of quality control and this type of stuff I want to see out of my shoes. You know, it just makes me think, you know, and my father kind of suggested this, but he was like, I look at the channel, I see a lot of, you, you do a lot of Nikes, you do a lot of Jordans, when you're going to do something else, you know what I'm saying? So I appreciate that because, I mean, he's right. I probably should mix it up and that's why I got uh, Adidas pair. I got the Human Races coming. I'm going to do my first reveal on that. It's going to be my first uh, for real shoe and 
Um, I'm pretty excited to bring different type of content and different different looks at different shoes. I know you guys seen those, seen these type of shoes before. It's nothing you haven't seen before if you're really into sneakers. But um, that's what we got in store for this channel. I'm also gonna be, you know, just giving more of my thoughts and stuff like that. More content to come. Um, as always, if you like this video, hit that like button. I don't think I really need to do any legitimate B-roll because I mean, this sneaker is kind of speaks for itself. But I'll give you guys the B-roll as always at the end. And like I said, if you really want it on foot, um, I'll take some photos and I'll throw it up on my Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Um, and we'll just do it that way if you guys want it on foot because you know, you're requesting on foot after I don't really want to upload an entire another video to YouTube, so I'll upload it to Instagram. Um, to help you guys out. If that's what you really want, just ask for it, throw it in the comment section. Um, hit a like button if you like this video. Uh, hit that sub button if you're rocking on my content. As always, man, it's your boy Paula Dameron signing out. Deuce. Yeah, you don't mean what you say. I'm the king with the yays. If that box drop, I'm making 17 in a day. Not 100. I'm talking 17K. Got my celly going cray. Smoking weed, watching belly all day. School to go to moves and stiff from the haul out trucks. I done hustle stolen DVDs to sell it badass, but let us check what's name up. Everybody's showing love. If a nigga wants static, they gon' have to fuck up up. On the scene with the squad, living large. Them ladies love it when you polo jeans with the draws. I'm getting calls, getting texts, getting necks from a rich bitch who never seen the project.